I've wanted to make this video for a while now, but I wanted to ask you this question. Are they really your friends? Take a look at their interests. Take a look at their hobbies. Take a look at their life. The type of people they are. How do you feel around them? Are they really your friends, bro? This is something I wish someone told me when I was a bit younger. I've gone through a lot of friend groups throughout my whole life and a lot of people in general, not just friend groups. And I wish someone just told me to look around and say to myself, are they really your friends? I mean, seriously, bro, I've felt so crap around many people, man. Like, they're just nothing like me. I always feel this negative energy around them. I don't want to be like them. And I'm, then I'm asking myself, why am I hanging out with these people if I don't want to be like them? I've noticed that a lot of us confuse friendship with having fun. Just because you spend, let's say you have a good time with someone at a party, you go to a party, you have a good time with someone. That doesn't mean they're your friends. This is something a lot of guys and even girls mix up throughout, especially high school, where we're constantly, you know, adapting, we're going through all these different people, having all these friends. We don't realize that a lot of the people, we just had fun with them, but that doesn't mean they're the actual our friends. You sure? I've had a lot of good times with people. I've laughed with them. I've played. I've done cool stuff with them. We had a lot of fun together. And we were like, this is peak, bro. This is how it's going to always be. But I promise you, bro, that's not what a real friendship is. Friends are meant to be there for you when you're at your lowest point. Friends are meant to help you get back up on your feet. Friends are meant to support you. Friends are meant to have a genuine interest in you. Those people that you just talk to in class or let's say you met them at the party and you just talk to them for a little bit or the people you play video games with, this is something I used to do. They're not your friends. When I was younger, I would play a lot of video games, as you guys know. If you want to check out one of my videos, I have a video on why I actually quit video games. But besides the point, I used to play a lot of video games when I was younger in my early teenage years. The people I played video games with, I thought they were my best friends, bro. I thought I'd be, you know, we were locked in like this. That's what I thought. Turns out, bro, as soon as I got off that video game, we didn't care about each other. We only just cared about playing the game together. We just wanted to have someone to play with. But unfortunately, these people won't be in your life. They don't really care about you. That's something I realized a little bit too late. You need to genuinely, like, this is an actional step for you. Look around at your friend group. Look around at the people you hang, out, hang around the most with and ask yourself, do you really want to be like them? Do they have anything? Do they bring anything to the table? Now, I'm not telling you to use people or something like that. You have to bring your own value to the table too. And some people, they become really good people when you bring your value to them as well. So it's kind of like you both make each other a better person. But a lot of people, they don't bring anything to the table. You need to understand that you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. You've probably heard this quote a billion times from parents, from school, from the internet, whatever. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So if you're spending your time with complete losers who have nothing you actually want, for example, they're not, let's say, fit, they don't have anything going for them, they don't have any good habits, then you hanging out with them is simply useless. I don't care if you have a little bit of fun, whatever. Maybe you spend a little bit of time with them in class, but what you, would, you shouldn't consider them your real friends. Personally, when I went through self-improvement, I became a little bit lonely. I was like, because I started to polarize a lot of people because they were just not interested in the stuff I was interested in. So they kind of detached from me. And that's when I realized that they didn't care about me this whole time, man. I've always wanted a group of friends who are all just like me, interested in the same things as me. And I've achieved this, thank God. I've surrounded myself with a lot of good people now who I genuinely really appreciate and who are always going to be there for me when I'm at my lowest point. Even your relationship, even your, even your girlfriend or whatever, you're, whatever you have, they should be your best friend before your partner. You should be, they should be there for you when you're at your lowest point. Picture this scenario. I heard this analogy a while ago from a YouTuber called Prince EA. I don't know if you know who he is. But he had this analogy that imagine you're riding on a cool car. Let's say you bring your Lamborghini to school and you guys drive along the road with all your friends through this empty, dark area 
where there's not a lot of people, etc. But what? who will stay with you when your car breaks down? That's the question. A lot of people are going to leave. Those are your fake friends. But who is actually going to stay on that car with you when it breaks down? Who's going to be there to help you out so you can all survive together? I know I probably didn't say that analogy correct, but I just wanted to bring this example into your life. Who's actually going to be there for you? Real friendship is tested throughout the hardest times. This is a really important lesson you need to know. And another way to see if your friends are actually your friends is, would you want them around your future kids? Imagine when you grow up, you're like 30 years old, you have your own family, you have a bunch of your kids running around. Would you want your best these people around you? Do you want them to be around your kids? You know, you're at a barbecue or something, picture this, the sun's shining, and you're just standing there, you know, I don't know, grilling sausages on the grill with your friends. Do you want your kids to be running around, talking to them, having fun? Ask yourself this question. Majority of you will probably say no, unfortunately. Now, I'm not a pessimist in any way. I'm a full optimist, as I always say. But you have to, bro, you have to filter out. You have to, hmm, let me pick the word. You have to separate yourself from those people, from your fake friends. I'm not saying you have to ignore them or not talk to them again. That's not what we're trying to do. That's full pessimistic. You have to live in a society. You do have to talk to people whether you like it or not. But I recommend you kind of distance yourself away from them a little bit. And I promise you, they won't even care that you're gone. If they're really, truly your friends, they will be so sad if you leave. But if your fake friends don't care that you leave, they, they won't care, bro. Start dis distancing yourself from these people. When you go through your hardest times, when you start progressing, when you start becoming a better version of yourself, like what we do with our self-improvement journeys, that's when you'll gain a bunch of other people who are just like you. You'll piss off all the, you know people who don't want to see you win in life, but you'll be surrounded by people who do want to see you win, who are going to be there with you. Ride or die type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like all of that, man. But anyways, this is going to be, this is a short video. I just wanted to bring some more awareness to this. You know, I'm a little bit tired right now. I'm a bit sick, but I wanted to talk about this because friendship, it's something that we go through in our high school years. We, you know, we lose friends, we've gained friends. We learn a lot of lessons. And of course, I'm not that old yet. I'm only 17 years old, but I already have experience with this. And I promise you, bro, that surrounding yourself with good people is probably the best decision you can make. Surround yourself with people who are richer than you, who are braver than you, who are smarter than you, stronger than you. Have these connections, man. Talk to these people, reach out. This is how you gain people who are just like you. Personally, I've gained so many amazing friends over the last few months after, you know, actually reaching out to people. Because you do have to take initiative, man. You can't just expect good friends to just fall into your lap. You have to actually put in the effort and meet these people. You have to take initiative. You have to be a leader. You know what I mean? You have to bring some value to the table. If you have nothing going for you, no value, and you just expect to be friends with millionaires or something, don't expect that to happen, because it won't. But anyways, man, I hope you reflect on this too this is a fully unfiltered video i just wanted to talk from the top of my head to kind of make the video a little bit more authentic i don't want to edit it or anything but i really hope you take my message and surround yourself with people who you genuinely see being friends with you in the part next 10 15 20 years that's all i wanted to say man stay real i'll see you next time bye cabra